hey everyone creative Venus here and welcome to another beautiful tutorial and today we're gonna learn how to design this beautiful illustration or you can say an abstract design and this one is really beautiful and it's a multi-purpose kind of design which you can use in any of your presentation so the first step is to insert a rectangular background remove its outline and we will try to fill some nice pattern in this shape and to fill the pattern you need to right click go to format shapes and here you can find the option to fill the pattern so experimenting here is really important for you the more you will try and experiment the better results you will get so that's the uh, overall approach here also try to you know uh, fill different kinds of foreground and background colors to get a nice pattern look so this blue pattern is coming out really nicely now what we're gonna do is we will duplicate it and we have duplicated the layer now we have two rectangles now this top layer in this top layer what we're gonna do is we will fill the gradient color and for the gradient we are using a blue gradient so I have added four gradient stops so that we can have uh, you know a lot of depth in the gradient now gradient now the gradient is much more vibrant and has four shades of blue So I am trying to make sure that this gradient color looks uh, looks fine and now what we're gonna do is we will write the text here so till now what we have done is let's recall the first is the pattern background the second is the gradient background we have two layers and we have increased the transparency on the second layer so that's why we have this pattern is visible in the background now we will use this font the cast font so this font is like a paintbrush so i have tried to find different fonts which look like a paintbrush effect so there i found this cust font k u s t so this font is really awesome and now you can write different alphabets like i or t or y to create a brush stroke effect and what we have to do is we have to place these randomly so that it looks like some kind of brush stroke over this slide so once you have applied few brush strokes after that you can group them together in different sizes and then repeat them randomly you don't have to follow what i'm doing on on the screen at the moment you can try a different approach you can try to write different font here try with y or t and place these randomly now i have duplicated these and placed it here rotate them so that these look like a random stroke so this part looks difficult but it is very easy because it's complete completely a random approach you will get a different style here even if i'll try to recreate this slide the kind of effect i will get will be different 
because I'm placing these objects randomly. Now place this frame shape here and you know what the best part is? Few strokes will overlap this frame and few of the strokes will be behind this frame. So that's what we want to achieve in it. And that's create a very nice effect. Like frame is, you know, covered inside this stroke and, and this stroke effect is overlapping this frame. Like this. So you can try this approach and you can create different styles here. You don't have to go with the rectangular frame. You can try it with the circle. You can try different brush strokes. So this slide is just to let you know and let you learn that you can also do this thing in the PowerPoint. And you can use this kind of style in your presentations now look at this it's like this frame is behind the clouds so meanwhile what you can do is you can subscribe to our channel you can join the membership and you can help us reach 200,000 subscribers. That's our goal. And you can only do that. And you can really help us to achieve our goal. And all of those who have subscribed, I would like to say thank you. And thanks for watching our videos. Now let's write some text here so this part is quite easy as you know you just add your branding here or the text you want to write or the title of the slide anything you want to add here so there are no set rules like you have to write here only you can write text at the bottom and main keywords inside this frame so that's how you can do it. Now we have written the text here. Now let's try the main heading here or the main keyword. So today our theme is rise up. We want everyone to rise up in their life, whether it's a career, or it's their home affairs or whatever they, they do in your life everyone should rise up so that's our theme so that's why I've written it and it's one of my favorite word so so we have used a very nice handwriting font The font name is F O R T E Forte. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but I believe it's called Forte F O R T E. And it's a very nice handwriting font. So look at this. It's looking really, really nice and gorgeous it's look, it looks like that we have designed it in some kind of you know very high-end professional software for graphics but that's the magic of microsoft powerpoint it allows you to create such complex design i mean these look like a complex design but this kind of design is simple as you've just witnessed.
we have placed two rectangles, one frame, some brush strokes using the cust font K U S T, and after that, we have written the text. That's it, and this is the output. So, I hope you will like our design, our effort. So please do not forget to download this slide from the G drive link provided in the video description. Also, if you have liked this design, please subscribe to our channel, like this video, join the membership, share this video with your friends, colleagues, or anyone else around you, and share your thoughts in the comment section. So thanks for watching. God bless you. Peace.